Hello folks, uh, this is the second question of related field for this year, paper 4. Uh, this question belongs to 2018, February, March, paper 4, 2, and the question number is 7. The first thing uh, requires us to define the meaning of electric potential. So it's the amount of work required to bring a unit positive charge from infinity uh, to that specified point within the electric field. So simple definition, not much uh, 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 is required, not much issues required here. So our main focus is the uh, next question. The centers of uh, two charged metal spheres A and B, A and B, are separated by a distance of 44 centimeter, given here. A movable point P, P lies on the line joining the centers of the two spheres. So this is the line joining the centers and P lies somewhere here. Point P is at a distance uh, X from the center of uh, A, so X here. So if it is X, then it should be uh, 44.0 minus X centimeter. The variation with distance x of the electric potential v is shown like this. So what happens here is, from uh, from 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 uh, zero to zero to twelve centimeter, twelve centimeter, the value of potential is constant, and from there it starts to decrease, 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 decrease. It reaches the lowest value here, so it is somewhere at around. Uh, so this is uh, let us see, let us say this is 25, 26 centimeter. At a 26 centimeter, its value is lowest, and again it rises. As you can see the pattern here, initially the rate of decrease is high, the rate decreases ultimately, so rate is zero. Then it increases, the rate of increase, uh, uh, rate of increase increases more, and that's why it uh, goes here, and then it becomes constant. So this is the nature of variation. Now, with this information, what we have to do here is, is state and explain whether the two spheres have charges of the same or opposite nature. So here what we should be doing is, uh, since the value of potential is always, always, always positive here. So this is zero level, zero level. This is 1.2 actually. Zero is even down here. The value is always positive. So if the value is always positive, then the potential should be, should be equal to, uh, should be, uh, uh, sorry, the charges should be like charges same uh, they should be of same sign so if a plus and minus are there they can give minus value sometimes plus sometimes minus, minus value if this plus and plus they always give plus value if is minus and minus they always give minus value so here since it is plus they are either positive or negative or negative that means they are of same sign now in the next question we have to narrate uh, something here so a positively charged particle is at rest on the surface of a sphere uh, sphere A, so we have to place a body charged particle, charged particle on the surface of this thing. Let us say somewhat like this, like this. The particle moves freely from the surface of sphere A to B. So from here to here it moves. Describe qualitatively the variation, if any, with distance x of the speed of the particle. So when it comes from here to here, from here to here, we have to describe qualitatively the variation of the speed speed according to this x. So what happens is from 12 to 25. So from 12 to 25, so from 12 centimeter here to 25 centimeter here, 25 centimeter here, what's happening is the gradient is negative. The gradient negative means that, so since I have got E is equal to minus dv dr, since grad is negative, E is positive. E positive means that the force is also positive. So force positive means that the speed increases. Speed, speed increases. Increases. What happens is slope here and slope here are different. The gradient here is more and here is less. So grad less means that E uh, decreases, force decreases. Force decreases means that E decreases. E decreases means now what happens is speed increases but but the rate, but the rate of increase but the rate of increase of increase decreases it is increasing but the rate of increase decreases now same thing applies here same thing applies here so from here to here from 27 to 31 this one first let's try here what happens is we have uh, again e equal to this thing so what we have here is uh, e equal to minus dv by dr the slope is positive so E will be negative. E negative means force will be negative. So if force is negative, then we have 
A is equal to also negative. So if A is negative, then speed, speed decreases. Decreases. But here also, the slope is less here, high here. So what I mean is the speed decreases, but at, but at increasing rate. Increasing rate. So the rate of decrease of speed increases. That means it decreases more rapidly later. Now in between these two, what happens at 27 centimeter? So till 27 increases. Uh, so till 27 the speed increases. After 27 speed decreases. So here the speed is max. Speed maximum and 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 uh, uh, the rate rate is equal to zero. So rate zero can be seen by this uh, horizontal thing. Slope is zero. Slope zero means uh, Slope 0 means uh, E0, uh, means E0, E0 means F0, E0 means A0, A0 means that uh, the speed is now maximum and constant for a moment. So at a 32, 32 means here, so here what I mean is uh, E is positive, E is positive, positive means F equal to positive, A equal to positive, so that is speed is still increasing, speed still increasing. The speed is still increasing. Now, the particle has charge 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and mass something. Calculate the maximum speed of the particle. So, what you have to do is we have to release the particle from here and we have to find the speed over here. So, what is happening right now here? Here is uh, because of the change of PD here, the K also increases. So, here it is released at rest at rest, I'll say it somewhere here, uh, but is at rest on the sphere of, uh, on the sphere of, okay. so here it's K is zero, it's a kinetic energy zero, here it has got something, so that means there has been an increase in K E, so it means that there has been an increase in kinetic energy, kinetic energy, so what we have is 1 by 2 m v square minus 0 is equal to, is equal to the work required from here to here here to here so it should be equal to q into q into difference of potential here potential pd which you call as which gives me v is equal to root twice q delta v divided m and that's equal to inside the root i'll have 2 into q equal to 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 into the change of pd is change of pd is Initial here it is I have got to uh, uh, I have got uh, how much I have got is uh, V is so this is a 2.1 uh, 2.4 2. Point, uh, so this is 2.1 uh, 2.12 2.14 so it is 2.14 2.14 uh, then 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 I have got to minus so it is a minus 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 so the max speed occurs here, occurs here. So here the value is 1.43, 1.43 into 10 to the power 4, the power 4, whole divided, whole divided, m is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. So if I do the calculation, so the calculation will give us, so 2 into 3.2 exponent minus 19 into Bracket uh, 2.14 minus 1.43 because exponent to the power 4 uh, divided 6.6 6 exponent uh, minus 27 equal to and uh, root gives us the value as 8.297 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second. So when I write it in 2SF, its value will be when I write it in 2SF, its value will be equal to value be equal to equal equal to uh, 8.3 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second so the value is 8.3 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second so this completes all the questions of uh, of uh, all the mini questions of this on this whole full question